YouTube, Rumble, good afternoon, Father's Day, ooh, yep, plane taking off, I don't know, did, did I ever tell you, there's an airport like, 300 yards away from us. Little airport. But they do have some jets there. Copy. Oh, good to get away, good to get home. Not really. So. Did I tell you that I, I met somebody while I was gone? We had breakfast together uh, yesterday morning. Her name's Sarah. She's five. I don't know what changed about me that all of a sudden little girls want to hang with me. But the last last three or four little trips I've taken and where I've stayed in a hotel that had continental breakfast and I'm having my breakfast somebody a little girl wants to sit with me and have breakfast. This trip was Sarah. Sarah's from Georgia. They were on their way somewhere in Michigan because Sarah's father is in the military stationed up there somewhere and they were going up there. But we had breakfast together. Cute little girl. Her mom was a uh, her mom was a little shaky at first, you know. But I told her it's fine. She can sit here. Everything's cool. That was the highlight of the trip. I mean, I don't... And all of a sudden now, I like... You know, I don't really like kids. I mean, family members, you, you know, you gotta like them. But other people's kids... Yeah, I'm a little shaky in that department. It was a decent trip home yesterday. Weather was nice. You can tell I was tired because when I loaded the road trip video up, I loaded it wrong. You had the ending at the beginning and the beginning in the middle and uh... So now I'm just sitting here waiting for my four humans that I'm responsible for to make their appearance. Who knows? They they don't tell you. They're just all going to roll in like a like a bunch of renegades here. Back to not sleeping again. Slept great in that hotel, man. You figure if you're going to sleep, have a bad night's sleep, it's going to be in a strange place. I slept great at the hotel. Last night, nah, right back to the same old story. Went to Walmart while I was gone because I forgot to pack stuff. 
and the Walmart down there had gun safes. And I'm like, well, heck. If I would have had something a little bit bigger than what I drive, I probably would have snatched that up. But that means I can order it from Walmart.com. So I was looking on Walmart.com. You got to put it together, but still, I found one that suits my needs for... If memory serves me correct, which it probably doesn't, found it for 209 bucks. That would suit my needs. So. Then I got home, and that's when it started. Before I had left, got a phone call, mom's phone, from the Mentor on the Lake Police Department. I live in Mentor. Mentor on the Lake is right across the street. Looking for young Mr. Bradley. I was leaving. I didn't have time to get into the story. Didn't want to get into the story. But the minute I walked in the door last night, here comes the story. You know, Brad likes to roller skate. Okay. Brad meets a girl. We never got to meet the girl. Some of this girl's, some of these, this girl has friends, there we go. They kind of didn't really like Brad, so they kind of, you know, started crap. Brad's got a temper. He's a little guy, but he's got a temper because he's a little guy. Well, anyways, as the story goes... Brad and this girl, they quit seeing each other because Brad said that she wasn't being upfront and honest. I'm like, whatever, dude. You know, I'm not I'm not here to give you advice. I'm the last person to give anybody relationship advice. I can't even get my relationships right. Now, I mean, I, I was right with Cindy. So, Brad goes back to Euclid. Because yesterday, yesterday would have been his day off. But nope. Men on the lake, please go out and pick him up. Bring him back. Put the questions to him. Brad's brother Mike, who's he's pretty sharp. He's on the game. He's on his. He's on his game. He finds out. He goes and gets Brad. He says Brad ain't answering no questions without his lawyer. 
So who knows what's going on? But this girl has allegedly accused Brad of inappropriate activity. I am 46 years old. I don't need this crap in my life. I went through this crap with my youngest going to court because he was thieving. And we sat down, I meant getting going, going back there, I sat down with the prosecutor and he laid it out that, you know, probably, you know, he's going to end up on probation or anything. And, you know, is there anything you want to add? I'm like, yeah. I said, uh, in order for him to fulfill his probation, he's going to need to go tour the juvenile facility. And he's not going to have any contact with these hoodlum friends that he's running around with. So we go before the judge and the judge and boom. Jake's on probation for a year. And sometime during that year, he has to go tour the juvenile facility because he was a juvenile. And he's not allowed to have any contact with these other hoodlum friends that he, that he was hanging with at the time. So, took Jake to the juvenile facility. They showed him around. He didn't like it. That was my version of that Scared Street show that was on TV. Uh, but every time and my mom she will not let it go and I tell her I said there's nothing we can do we just gotta let it play out Y'all would have told me two years ago when I moved that I was going to end up back in drama. I would have laughed and said, ooh, I'm drama free. I don't get involved in crap like that anymore. But here I am. All I want to do is just exist. I don't want people to say, oh, you need something, you need this fixed? Go see Jim, he can fix it. I don't want to say, I don't want that. I, I've been that route. Just want to find somebody to settle down with. Do my do my road trips, because that's what I am. I have a restless soul. But They say there's no place like home. I'm good with that. I'm gonna go everywhere but home. 
I've always, I've always considered home a place where you keep your stuff and you go to rest up a little bit and then you're back gone again. Oh wait, that's what I did for my career for 41 years. Anyways, fathers out there, kudos to you. I hope you enjoy your humans as much as I enjoy mine. And I hope they show you a good day. I think I've covered everything. Yeah. Hope you're well. Hope you're safe. Every day's a school day. If you're not learning, you're being left behind. Go be kind. Make somebody smile. Even if it's a five-year-old. Oh, forgot to hold the button. Let it blink. There it goes. See you soon.